Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner. Very nice car, guys. I actually bought this car originally a couple years ago, sold it to a local guy, uh, just bought it back from him. But really cool car, real Roadrunner, real RM VIN. Um, it, it also the original Virginia car. Um, man, I sold this car so quick. Last time I never even advertised it. Um, so my notes sucked on it as I went back through. Um, I believe this is an eight year old restoration, eight year old body up restoration is what I would call it. Um, but really good car. So like I say, sold to a local guy. He's had the car for a couple of years, loved the car, had a blast with it. Um, factory color combination, this is called Blue Sky. I believe the code is B1. Uh, then of course it's got all the uh, white uh, Roadrunner reflective striping. You can see it's got uh, 18 inch chrome boss wheels. Not my favorite to be honest with you, but they do look good on the car. Um, but actually a couple customers have already seen this car in the, in the coming soon photo and they're like, man, I'd put a set of Magnum 500s. Yeah, the, the, those would look cool on there. The factory rallies would look cool on it. Set of Krager SS's I'd be okay with too. But uh, nice car, good looking body style. I can tell you I've been trying to buy one of these cars. Oh man, I've been trying to buy one of these cars for six, eight months and uh, been steady looking for them. And most of them that I look at are just pretty beat up. But cool car, man, I like the striping package. Really cool color, and again, it is original. As we go around, yes, you can nitpick some stuff on the car. Um, they've replaced the bumpers. You can see the chrome and stainless is nice. I don't know what is in the water today, guys, but I have had a couple of very weird phone calls. I had a customer who called and complained that I showed them stuff wrong in the videos. He doesn't think that I should do that. It makes He said he doesn't know if he could buy a car when I'm showing him stuff that's wrong in it. <laughs> I just had to chuckle. And then I just got off the phone with a guy from California who uh, didn't like it because I didn't sales pitch him enough on a car. And I chuckled and said, I, I don't have a sales pitch. Uh, love the power ball chute on these cars. I think they're super cool. Fender mount turn signals do work. Dual chrome mirrors, those are original. You can kind of nip, you know, they, they're showing some age. Front windshield's new. Um, the rest of the glass is original. Driver's side had a little scratching in it, but uh, the rest of the gla uh, glass is pretty doggone nice. Again, it's got the, you can see it, the reflective striping. This is the factory rear glass. Uh, car's also got the front chin spoilers and the rear deck spoiler. Again, they've re replaced the rear bumper. Again, little things like that as you kind of walk around it. Um, hey, Mike, go ahead and shut that door. We'll leave that door. Breaking in a new guy. Got the new guy, Mike, out here today for the first time. <laughs> Nice and flat down the sides. I didn't see where they had replaced any panels. Looks like the floors are floors are original. Um, I like to say, nice, clean Virginia car. You can go ahead and open that door back up now. Yeah, nice and flat down the sides. You can see it's got the uh, machine gun tips. Very cool option, I think. Again, it's got the uh, chrome boss wheels. Good looking car, man. Power front disc brakes that I'll tell you will stop on a dime. This is the matching numbers, uh, 340 cubic inch engine. Yes, it's, a, it's got a mild build to it. Still runs on pump gas. Um, Holly 750 dual feed four barrel Edelbrock air gap intake. Power steering, power front disc brakes. 
Uh, you can see it's got headers on it. It has a Lunati 480 lift camshaft in it with flat top pistons. ATI uh, or um, electronic ignition. Seven, it's got the matching number, 727 torque flight automatic trans, aftermarket aluminum radiator with a shroud. No, 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 Mike. You got you open, open the doors and the deck lid. And hear the door buzzer in there works. Yeah, you can go ahead and open the doors and then the, uh, the deck lid. Saw a couple little blemishes at the bottom of that door. I don't even know if you can see them. They're pretty small. Um, like I say, just nitpicking it. Yes, guys, you're going to find something with all of them. Um, just right up front about that. I don't understand why people have a problem with that, but uh, man, I've been doing this for 30 some years, man. It's over 6,000 cars that I have personally bought and sold. There ain't a perfect one in that I've ever seen. There, are, there You can find something wrong with all of them. Again, same thing on this side, chrome mirror. I think, yeah, this is a remote mirror and it does work too. Drives really good. Um, like I say, nice and tight going down the road. Um, he just uh, just rebuilt. I think he said that's the only thing he really did. He rebuilt the steering box on it. I've ordered a new set of um, uh, Roadrunner mats for it. Bucket seats console. There's an aft. That's an aftermarket pistol grip shifter, which is pretty cool. Got to push it down to go down in gears. Showing 45,000, I'm sure that's 145, guys. Um, sport compact, engages, uh, the oil pressure's down below. It's got an aftermarket radi uh, radio in the um, glove box. Flowmaster dual exhaust. Um, it, uh, it's a eight and three quarter, uh, 323 rear end with, um, it does have a rear sway bar. Sorry guys, that's just a little water driplet. Showboard, they have finished the trunk area. Little showboard with it. They've got a little prop rod for the rear deck here. Kind of wants to stay up, but I think they prop it up just to make sure it doesn't come down and blast you in the head car's clean underneath i can't say it's a rotisserie or anything like that but it's nice the floors are nice you can see in the pictures the floors are nice and clean door skins are clean again new mats are on the way Seats have definitely been redone, repadded, refoamed. Again, there's an aftermarket radio in here. I didn't turn it on, to be honest with you guys. Let's see if Mike, there's a remote in the console. I'll have Mike see if he can get it on. Go ahead and start up. Again, same thing, original door handles, mirrors the same way. There's two keys, Mike. One doesn't work the ignition. Good sound. Nice little cam to it. Give it a little rev, Mike. Give it a little rev. Give it a little rev. Perfect. 
That sounds good, man. Pump gas engine, so nothing too crazy. But definitely got a nice lobe to it. Uh, put your turn signal on, Mike. See your fender mounts work. Um, Tack work. Just give it a little, just a little bit. Yep. See that works. Uh, fuel gauge works. I think everything, uh, Speedo, the uh, uh, oil pressure is, is like I say, down at the, uh, um, uh, down there at the aftermarket gauge. Uh, brake lights. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Reverse. Reverse, Mike. There you go. Backup lights work. Yep. Give it a little rev, Mike. Ours got good sound, man. Real good sound. Did you get the radio to pop on? No, I didn't. I got it turned on. Yeah, but... it's got some. I don't know how you. Yeah, it's got a remote. I like say, I, I, you know, I'm not a radio guy. Um, lower motor, I didn't get to work. Like I say, oil pressure's down below. It's holding good oil pressure. Um, go ahead and flip your uh, wiper. Back. What? He's got one wiper unhooked. Yeah. So I'll have Steve check that. I don't know if he's got that for a reason or maybe it's just come unhooked. What's car sounds mean? Headlights, brights, turn signals. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through... Our, nope, nope, back up, Mike, Mike, Mike. Back up a little bit. Uh, you can keep track of us through our Instagram and our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. You can do that uh, through clicking a little button there at the bottom. Uh, that way you get a notification every time I post a new video, guys. That is a cool-looking car, man.